Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, I'm going to show you Facebook's new Insights to Go tool. This is a complementary tool to the Facebook Audience Insights tool that I've taught a lot about in the past. And really, the goal of this tool is to help you go deeper into the user behavior of your audience, whereas the Audience Insights tool is to understand who that audience is, how much they make, where they live, what they like, etc. This is to help you understand what they engage with, what they're doing online, and some kind of broader picture user behavior content to help you kind of craft your campaigns, craft your ads in ways that are going to boost and get the maximum amount of engagement. And obviously, when you do that, you get better relevance scores, you get lower cost per click, lower cost per conversion, and everything else works. Because as a Facebook paid advertiser, your goal is to contribute to the positive user experience of Facebook's audience. And when you do that correctly, you get rewarded with better prices and better traffic. So this tool is designed to help you with that. And let's jump in and take a look at how this works. So you can see right here, it is the Facebook Insights to Go. It's beta right now. I don't know if everyone has access to this. I don't know if it's a, a countrywide or how they're rolling this out, but this is it. If you want to get access to it, simply go to Google and type in Facebook IQ. And you can even do IQ Insights if you want right here. And you can see it comes up. It's the first one that comes up right here. It's facebook.com slash IQ and you just click on this. Now this takes you to the main Facebook IQ where they've got a bunch of different insights. If you go through these, what you're gonna find out is they, they're writing these articles trying to help you understand user behavior. I don't really like any of that. It's kind of a waste of my time. So under tools and resources, you go to insights to go. And you can see we're here at the, at the page and you click get started. Now they explain how to do all this, but I figure it's just as easy for me to kind of show you how this works. So you can see right here, we've got these kind of filters up top. Now you want to start to play with these filters and yes, you can stack them on top of each other, but you might be getting the information too narrow and too tight. And you'll see when you get it set up, you get different cards worth of information. So you can, you can search if you're, you know, a US based advertiser, you can kind of narrow it down. Um, but I prefer to go in either by industry or by people, right? So industry is your industry. So let's say you're in the travel industry and let's just click on travel. And what happens is you can see it's now got this travel filter right here. There's 68 results, meaning there's 68 tidbits of information available to us as advertisers about these people. So some of the top Instagram hashtags about honeymoons, honeymoon, mini moon, Interesting. So what I can take from this is if you're running a travel based website, if you're trying to teach people travel hacking, there's a chance that going after the mini moon kind of sub niche within travel within honeymoon. And if you teach people how to get free flights for their mini moon, you are hyper hyper targeted with who you're going to identify, then your landing page can be hyper hyper targeted towards are you planning a mini moon or a honeymoon you want to learn how to get free flights, click my or enter your email address and get my free report now. And the reason is specificity wins when you're talking to that user it's not just like hey you want to travel like eh, kind of like hey that honeymoon you're planning are do you want to get free flights for it be like yes people are spending a ton of money on their wedding already so i, I don't i'm not going to get too deep into this but i think you understand where i'm going you're looking for inspirational ideas that can come from what you're getting from here um, so mobile travel booking is increased, obviously keep your landing page mobile friendly. And here's where you get really, really kind of interesting stuff. So you can see 83% of travelers in Brazil say they were inspired by Instagram. Obviously, if you're not in Brazil and you want to be like, you're like, oh man, but I'm US based only. You would come up here to region. You would click that and you would select US. And what's going to happen is it's going to add this to the filters. Now we have 51 results and we've excluded all the results outside of the US. Um, 42% of travelers say they like to follow travel providers online, etc. So it's just tidbits of information. Here's something that's really, really important to pay attention to. 64% of travelers used two or more devices when planning their last trip. If you're an affiliate marketer and they are using two separate devices and you did not email them the link to the second device, you might be losing out on a commission. So what this means is make sure you get them on your list first. And when you send links back to your affiliate stuff, don't expect them to have a cookie on their machine because 64% of people are on multiple devices. So always send your affiliate link to them. And then obviously there's a show more button here at the bottom. And this kind of 
information just keeps going. You get more and more insights. I think it said we had 51, and you could just keep reading through these. And there are these little cards, these little tidbits of knowledge that you can use. And really, I think it's best when you're looking for inspiration, you're trying to come up with what's my unique angle, what can I do, or what is it that I do that lines up really well with how user behavior already is on Facebook, and you're trying to synthesize a new idea to get what you're doing to work even better. So let's clear all and do kind of another one here. So I'm going to clear all and I'm going to start here with the people or seasonal. Let's try seasons, right? So we are today is the first day of autumn and we are quickly, quickly coming up to Cyber Monday. If you are doing anything with a Cyber Monday campaign, you're probably already laying the foundation and you're definitely thinking about your um, advertising campaign for this. So here you go. 41% of Cyber Monday conversions were on mobile. In Brazil again, in Mexico again, so let's go ahead and change this up and set the region to the US. That brings us down, we have 10 cards, and I believe I can click here and do a Black Friday also, and it's gonna add that on. So now we're looking at all pieces of information from the US about Black Friday or Cyber Monday, because that is a big time US, I don't even wanna call it a holiday, it's absolutely insane here, but you can see among U.S. millennials, 44% of Cyber Monday conversions visible to Facebook happened on mobile. Right. So young people are converting for Cyber Monday on mobile. What does this mean? If you're doing a Cyber Monday campaign, you better make sure and test highly, highly, highly test, especially if your demographic is the 18 to 32-year-old demographic. You need to make sure that you're just cranking on mobile. And these are the kinds of tidbits of information that you're able to get and show more and it goes on and it goes on. And yes, you need to explain extrapolate what does this actually mean it's so important for you to understand what does this mean now you can get into their campaign planning I don't really use this I just jump in and make my campaigns um, my planning happens kind of in notepads and um, you know it's it's really just something I'm more interested in um, hashing out here is getting the information about people I know a lot of friends they run Halloween kind of contests. They run special things for Halloween every year to grow their list and to make sales. Here's the information about Halloween stuff, right? You can look at these different insights and it goes more and more and more. And then finally, if you wanted to, we can leave it on US and we can just go women in the US. If you know your target market is women in the US, you could just search and learn more about how women in the US are utilizing Facebook. So women in the US talked about Thanksgiving 1.14 times than men. Like that's one, that's not much. That's a very small uh, number, which is really interesting. But th this is the game, right? You're mining for data. You're really truly going through here, looking for these tidbits of information, for these insights about your market. Are you in the beauty niche? Let's go ahead and look at the beauty niche because I know that beauty is huge on Instagram. And what I'll do is I'll turn off US and I'll go into industry beauty and health. So now we're looking at all of the kind of results based on women who are interested in beauty and health worldwide. I'll go ahead and put that to North America. We'll kind of include our friends up in Canada as well as US and not much information here. And this is what happens when we add too many cards to this, but you can go and remove the women segment here. You get 25 in the beauty and health. You can remove North America and just looking at all the beauty and health insights, you have 83 different results. So how you're going to use this tool is going to vary significantly based on where you are in your funnel creation, in your kind of customer avatar creation process. And, you know, are you already selling products? Do you have a core group of people? You know for sure that women between the ages of 28 and 40 years old are your people and they're in the United States of America. If so, go plug in that information and try to understand what else are they doing. If they're talking about Thanksgiving, make sure you're giving them content to talk about Thanksgiving. If they purchase a lot on Cyber Monday, make sure you're running a Cyber Monday, right? Like you're trying to figure out what is the user behavior of my people here on Facebook and then do things that are going to boost your engagement. Now, if you're 
you're not that far down and you just know what your niche is, right? You're like, okay, I do travel deals. I help people get deals on flights. Use the kind of industry specific segment and reverse engineer and start to learn who's actually doing the booking, how are they doing the booking and begin to take these tidbits of information and reverse engineer them into your campaigns and your funnels because the whole game here with Facebook pay-per-click advertising is you want your ads to blend right into the timeline. You want them to have a positive user experience. You don't want them to feel like they're being advertised to. You want to connect with them, tell them stories, engage them, and get them to engage you. That's when your advertising works best. And the how-to, the little kind of inspirational aha moments are hidden within the data here in this new insights tool and within the audience insights tool. It takes practice, it takes synthesizing ideas. You got to mull this stuff over. I like to think about the stuff when I go hiking and when I get out in nature, that's when the ideas really kind of start to synthesize, but I have to seed my brain and my consciousness with these little tidbits of information before my brain and my subconscious can synthesize these ideas and this is a perfect way to leverage what Facebook is tracking on all of us. It's a little creepy. It's a little scary and Facebook definitely is a lot of creepy and a lot of scary. Don't trust the dude who runs it at all but that's a whole other story but you get to use this information and leverage it to increase conversions, to increase engagements and ultimately to create a more profitable business online. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have, give me a thumbs up here in YouTube. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions for me, feel free to hit me in the comments below and if this tool has not been rolled out to you yet, know that it probably will be out soon depending on where you're at, but give it a shot and really learn more about your audience. That is one of the biggest keys to success in this game. Know more about your audience than they know about themselves. And when you talk to their problems, their goals, their desires, and when you show up on those right times of year when they're inspired and when they're engaging, you will see a bump in traffic, in engagements, in conversions, and everything. Thanks again for your time, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.